Hey, what's happening, YouTube? This is Spencer here, and it's been a while since I was able to snatch one, but I finally got another character deck for the Sailor Moon card game, and it's the long-awaited Sailor Moon deck. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just open it up, because as you can probably see from here, it's brand new. Never been opened in its wrapping. And we're going to go take a look inside and see what we got. I'll just put down the camera there and set her up. Mm, beautiful. I'm actually. Hold on. Let me flip the screen this way. Alright. Sit down here. And let's open her up. You can hear the little, yeah. You go over there. Hear the little damage counter beads rattling in there. And I gotta say, this is a pretty nice looking box. I like the colors and stuff. Anyway, try not to wrinkle the lid like I did with the Venus deck. There you go. So. There's the bag that the beads are in. I don't understand why they don't just put them in those plastic bags where you have to tear them open. But, there you go. Those are the counter beads. All uh, 12 of them. Yep. Stick those aside. And, uh, come on. You gotta show this for the people just to be official here. There's a rule book that I'm sure we've all seen already. Which I... You know, the nice thing at least about having all the character decks is that, you know, if you decide to take a few character decks out somewhere and battle it out with friends in a cabin, I don't know. At least it's nice to know, like, in case, like, say, something happens, like, you lose one rule book, then it'll be like, oh, hey, let's just look at this other character deck, and there's a copy there, you know? So, yeah. anyway, about the wrapping. Here's the deck. 60 cards in all. Actually, I'm going to put this here so we can look at the awesome side boxage while we look through the cards. So, this is how they appear from the underside down Amphibia, Doom Tree Monster. One, two, three, four, five bodies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Soul power cards. I'm gonna try to keep them separate here because, um, you know, since this is clearly the, the unboxing video, I have yet to make a list of this. I'm just doing the inventory check as we go right here so making sure that everything's all neat and tidy so it's easier to make the list so anyway Titus Negaverse Monster sorted by color so here's Bubble the Vulture two Mud Minion Hordes this makes two Amphibias And four mop ups <laughs> four. Two mop heads. Well there could be four, you never know. This we're not quite through with this deck yet anyway. So there's two four face. I kinda like this screenshot. It's like grabbing her, she's all like freaked up. <gasps> you know, I like that. Oh, you don't you should be over here. Oh yes, the episode useful. Luna ten. As I call it with um, when I play the game with my sister, we just say the Luna Ten because it's like the super move where it, because every attack you make, regardless if it's individual or combined, adds ten points of damage to it. So we just call it the Luna Ten. So anyway, there's that card. 
Good old pervy Grandpa Hino. It looks pretty neat with that screenshot, you know. I'd love to know what's going on there. You know, I, I just need I need to watch the show. <laughs> There's Chad, come on, a person card. Two Ophida scrolls, which is pretty useful when you want to try to prevent the opponent from attacking, I believe it is. Yeah, attacking your scout or knight. Two damage transfers. Another good reason to watch this show with this screenshot here. Like, this tree thing or whatever is freaking impaling this guy in the shoulder. I mean, this just looks kind of sad, you know. Dramatic. Runaway event card. Always nice to screw with your opponents. Uh, Bamu Nigaverse monster card. Let's try to remember to keep tilting this at a certain angle because, like, if it's four like this, it's kind of hard to see. There's a shadow. If I do this, and it's like, right. You know, you always gotta fight with the fluorescent lighting. But anyway, this is Van Peel. Doom Tree monster card. Minotaur. I gotta say, that's kind of a sexy Minotaur there. Insectia. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's something I've noticed something interesting like with these two. They kind of have a similar composition. They both got their fists up in the air, crying to the sky. Rawr! Except one looks uh, like in a bigger mess than the other. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on there with Insectia, but anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, here's a very peculiar uh, Dark Moon Droid card Regalia. Two of them. Very low health points. Only has, um, what do you call it? Red dot. Uh, oh, that's the attack. Duh. Uh, but it only does a certain damage here. So it says, Regalia delivers twice the damage of the attack that the scout knight used against her to any of the attacking opponent's scouts or knights in play. So I believe that means that if, say, you have a Sailor Mars that attacks Regalia and it's like 30 points of damage, then sh well, she'd be dead, but anyway. Okay, say there was an attack that was... Wow, you know what? This is kind of a dumb card. This practically makes it impossible to even use this, because the weakest attack in this game, to my knowledge, is 10 damage. So really, the, only, the best she can do is 20 hits or twenty points of damage. At 20 or over, she's going to die. Yeah. Well, like I said, very peculiar monster. You know, her attack sounds way powerful, but 20 health points doesn't mean much for her. That's the downfall. There's a Nigaverse crystal item. Keep these with the pie cards. Cardian flute. Temple. Ooh, two temple blessings. Great card there. It's like a... Think of it as like a mega potion, a very small mega potion from Final Fantasy, but for this card game. Uh, negative energy shield event card. All right, here's the star of the show. And as always, as you can expect from these character decks, here you have one level one Sailor Mars, and then two level two Sailor Mars cards. So there's that. Oh, okay. I, I forgot. Okay, so here's a Negaverse villain, Zoysite. I think I'm saying it right. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's the level 3 Sailor Mars. Doom Tree villain, Anne. And Dark Moon villain, Katsy. So, you know, she's cool because she can avoid attacks at the cost of two energy. Or two energy. There we go again. Sighting Pokemon. Two power cards. And Anne can basically remove 30 damage from herself, providing you discard a power card. Oh, what's this? It's like. Can you see that? Like, there's this little mark here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Well, it's not like I don't have this card already. But, you know. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet already, but... I think I did. But anyway, I'll say it again. I have the complete collection. Well, at least the whole Premiere Edition set of these cards. So, everything you see here, I already have in my big green binder. 
which I just might actually make a video of that um, at some point, well, well, considering the the amount of cards in the set. It's probably going to take at least a couple videos. But, yeah, that's about it. That's, you know, nothing else to show. So that is the entire Sailor Mars character deck. So, hope you enjoy this as much as I did making it. Um, I'll go ahead and, like I did with other character deck videos, put the whole list of contents of this deck into the comments box so that you don't forget what's in this deck. And anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, and looks like we're down to two character decks left. I still got to get the Tuxedo Mask and the Sailor Moon character deck of the Sailor Moon card game. But other than that, I have about five of the other decks. And before I bid you adieu, I do want to show you something that I think is kind of funny. I just got to go get it. One of the other character decks. There's something here. Do, 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 do. You all have seen this deck before. The Mercury deck. Um, I always had this, it's just visually, as far as colors go, I have this fascination with red against blue. So, of course, you know. I always, whenever I see a red thing and a blue thing, I just have to stick them together to see what it look like. I just, it's just some habit of mine, I guess. Then I noticed, like, in the side... Oh, actually, it would be more interesting this way. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, for all those who are collecting these like I am, but uh, if you have Mercury to the left, Mars to the right, they're the only two characters in the side box art of which their legs aren't crossing. Well, besides that dude in the starter deck. But anyway, they're the only two scouts in the side box art that I noticed that have, um, that don't have legs crossing. So like, you know, she's aimed to the left and she's aimed to the right. I don't know, it's just, not just a nerd thing I like to point out. I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, so that's about it. Then the video there, don't know what else to say other than this is a pretty cool deck. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's a good, from the looks of it, it's a good deck to have when you play the game with any of your buds. So, um, I'm gonna still look around and grab the, and try to grab the Moon and Tuxedo Mask decks, so please do stay tuned for that. If you do like what you see, oh man, look at this. There's a hole, right? <laughs> hole right through this bag. Well, that's pretty much useless. I'll just drop them in here. But uh, if you do like what you see, please do subscribe because you will definitely be seeing more Sailor Moon card videos in the near future. And uh, I'm definitely going to probably at one point show my whole collection in the binder and I also put my past future cards in there as well, the ones I showed you from that card lot video. Um, if you have not seen that yet, go ahead and click on that link down there. But uh, I'm glad you, you decided to stop by and see what I have in store for you, and you all have a good day.